Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Today we will continue with nonlinear regression modeling and that to discuss with various examples. In fact, in the last couple of lectures, we have already discussed this particular you know unit that to highlights various forms of nonlinear modeling starting with you know uh, dummy modeling, interactive effect and various functional forms through which we can discuss and analyze some of the engineering problems and come with a kind of you know decision making as per the particular you know management requirement. So, today what we have to do we will just take a problem and then we like to connect how actually works in 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 real life scenario and uh, that too with the help of a particular software. In fact, there are various softwares are there econometric softwares through which you can solve this problem and uh, that, that to uh, you know work out the engineering problems with the help of various you know forms of the models and then uh, again with the help of you know softwares we can have get the estimated results uh, and once we ready with you know estimated econometric results then we will go we will discuss the particular problem and uh, we will work out the decision making process. The thing is that uh, first of all we should know what is the exact problem and what are the various variables attached with this problem and uh, whether the particular problem can be analyzed with linear setup or in a kind of in a non-linear setup. If it is actually solved through linear setups, then no point to come to the non-linear setup. But if the requirement is the non-linear, then we we are bound to use that particular form, and then uh, the decision making process will be very effective and very efficient. Uh, in fact, with the help of data visualization, you can slightly get to know what kind of you know model we can use or what kind of you know functional forms or the types of you know models we can allow to estimate the process and then uh, you know uh, you know predict the particular you know requirement. Sometimes if the model is means the problem itself will you know demand that there is a need of you know such kind of you know models. For instance, uh, I mean say the dummy modeling and the interactive if interactive effect kind of you know modeling is the cited examples. So, let us you know uh, you know discuss these aspects and uh, briefly I will just highlight once again the various nonlinear type you know econometric models. Then I will take examples and I will try to you know find out solution for these uh, models. In fact, same data analysis package uh, excel solve you know package we can use to have these estimated output uh, in say uh, uh, excel you know data analysis package can help the process provided you have to do some kind of you know initial processing and bring into a kind of you know setup through which you know excel data analysis can help you to get the estimated output. Otherwise, uh, there are so many you know uh, econometric softwares the uh, softwares are there starting with you know R, uh, EBUs, Microfit, uh, Sajams all the softwares can be directly used to estimate these outcomes. Uh, uh, let us see first various forms then connect with the kind of you know, examples and the estimated outputs. So, uh, all together we have discussed uh, you know dummy kind of you know modeling. So, where we have a dependent variables that is a, a the, the you know the, the information which we would like to have this process is numeric and then it is connected with a independent variable which is a dummy type. For instance, why is here a salary structure of the college students Means those who are just entered to the uh, job market after the you know college degree 
and we are interested to know here uh, what is the difference between you know male income and you know female income. So, uh, in fact, we have already highlighted this model earlier. Uh, I am just once again connecting this and then I will take you to the software to see how is the kind of you know actual difference through software results or estimated results. So, in this case x 2 is treated as a independent variable that to the kind of you know dummy, uh, dummy means it is a proxy and uh, x 2 is here gender and uh, usually gender information gender first hand information is the kind of you know male and female which we can actually take care through software that is why we need a transformation. So, we put you know 0 for male and by default 1 is a kind of you know female then the entire data uh, you know information basket will be transferred into salary structure and corresponding to the gender male female and that will be transferred into 0 and 1 form. So, ultimately end of the day your spreadsheet will be a having numeric informations that to salary structure with you know numeric content and against the kind of you know gender with you know coding uh, uh, either in the form of 0 or in the form of 1. For examples this is a spreadsheet here and we have taken actually couple of variables and uh, first thing uh, for corresponding to this model we have here two variables salary structure and the kind of you know gender right. So, what will you do here you see here uh, uh, in the salary structure we start with you know 35,000 or 45,000, 20,000, 32,000 all figures are in thousands and uh, it is a kind of you know cross sectional observation. So, that means technically we have 23 samples and then uh, uh, out of which uh, some are you know male and some are in females. So, we like to know what is the average income difference between male and female and uh, this is not exactly hardcore nonlinear you know kind of you know model, but uh, it will give you some kind of you know expert exposure to the nonlinear setup. Uh, by the way, so having this you know uh, data structure, so we we can you know uh, come to the data analysis package. So, we are here in, in the data analysis and then we will go to regression package and just put ok and then you will find the screen like this. We, the way we, we solve earlier couple of you know bivariate problem and multivariate problem. So, here uh, we just like to check you know gender impact on you know uh, uh, you know uh, student salary and uh, we like to check the difference and uh, by the way. So, let us start with you know dependent variable. So, we can give indication about the dependent variable here. So, this is what the dependent variable indication. So, then corresponding to the dependent variables we can give indication about the in independent variables that to here and then we allow <coughs> the software to have the estimated output and just put ok and it will get the estimated output here. So, this is what the estimated output and you will find uh, 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 yes uh, the model outcome is not so good uh, in fact uh, uh, since the sample size is very small and uh, it is kind of an you know, arbitrary data and what will uh, you know you know see here means what is more important here is the estimated output and how this dummy modeling can be interpreted that is more important here. Then the uh, reliability of the model and fitness of the model can be improved by adding uh, samples uh, you know more sample points or you can actually uh, you know get the actual data points and then have the estimated output. So, that is the part of the game and uh, uh, because the reliability process we have already gone through it uh, until unless you get you know uh, the model will be uh, clear through reliability and diagnostics we cannot use for the predictions. But what is more important here after getting the reliability and the diagnostics uh, how we can interpret finally that is what the beauty of this you know dummy structure. And uh, here uh, uh, this intercept is very important. So, uh, the model by default will be y equal to alpha uh, you know beta x for instance like this here. Uh, in this case here so y estimated is equal to b 0 b 2. So, now b 2 is the slope coefficient and b 0 is the intercept coefficient. So, now if we look here, so the intercept is actually 14.63 and uh, the 
x 2 coefficients is coming 0 0.98. So, now uh, it is 14 a and approximately 1. So, 14 1. So, uh, slope coefficient is approximately 1 and intercept approximately 14.6 means 15. So, it is the game between 15 and 1. So, now you come here and uh, uh, here the interpretation is uh, uh, if actually x 2 equal to 0, uh, then you know we have y y cap equal to simply b 0 and that to uh, that to uh, you know uh, the average salary uh, average salary for female only because when we put actually x 2 equal to 0 and that to for male uh, that particular component will be removed and uh, that means technically uh, if you put here actually x to 0 and then uh, the entire component will be 0. So, then finally y cap equal to b 0 only. So, b 0 is coming here 15. So, that means technically so when uh, means when x 2 equal to 0 then the uh, y cap equal to simply b 0 and that represents the a male income, male average income uh, that means you know uh, average salary of male group and here it is 15 and then uh, when you put x 2 equal to 1 then uh, uh, you know b 2 is already equal to 1. So, 1 into 1 so it is uh, uh, it is equal to 1 again. So, then 15 plus 1 so then that impact will be female income. So, that means technically y cap equal to b 0 and y cap equal to b 0 plus b 2 and here b is equal to 15 so in the by the uh, estimated you know excel output and then uh, b 2 is equal to 1. So, that means technically when it is 15 then this is 15 plus 1 16. So, only 1 uh, you know 1000 1, you know extra is the kind of you know difference. So, that is what the you know dummy modeling can uh, find out the difference between or classify the entire sample into two groups or the same uh, you know problems analyzing a different kind of you know uh, uh, structure. Uh, in fact, it is the kind of you know, requirement uh, you know we, we are interested to know the gender difference income uh, you know difference among the you know or between the male and female. So, that is how the structure which will follow and find out the difference whether there is a difference and again so we sometimes know whether the particular difference is statistically significant or not. Of course, there are other way we can find out the difference like you know you can put simply t, t statistic and ANOVA uh, divide the sample into two parts male income uh, and female income then check the difference whether statistically significant or not. Uh, in regression what we will do we add all these samples create a single sample and regress it then you will find the kind of you know difference. So, or both or you know both ways you can find out the uh, inference and uh, in fact this is you know more interesting because we are you know analyzing the particular sample in a one uh, you know single uh, you know structure. So, likewise we will find uh, different kind of you know uh, structures through which you can actually understand the dummy modeling and then the second form of this structure is a thing about college interactive effect uh, because we, I am just connecting all these forms what we have already discussed and every you know model means various forms of nonlinear non models and then I will connect with the problems and the software output that is what the kind of you know requirement here. And in the interactive effect because with one variables we can we cannot study the interactive effect and for this uh, so we can start with you know trivariate setup. And uh, uh, in this case, in this case, so we have two variables. X one is a independent variable, and X two is inter in 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 independent variable. So by default, the interactive effect will be X one into X two. So obviously, so we start with actually y. That means the uh, original game is y equal to function of X one and X two then finally, the model will extend to y equal to x 1, x 2 and x 1, x 2 that is the interactive effect. So, as a result, so we have a 4 coefficients uh, beta 0 is a, a intercept, beta 1 is the slope coefficient for x 1, beta 2 is the slope coefficient for x 2 and 
beta 3 is the slope coefficient for the interactive effect that is the uh, intersection between x 1 and x 2. So, obviously, this is what the form of the uh, you know interactive model. Now, we will see what is x 1, what is x 2 and then we will see the kind of you know interactive. So, that means, this is a specific types of you know models which, which may not you know use frequently depending upon a particular you know engineering uh, you know econometrics problems we can actually specifically use. This is very special kind of you know models of course, all the uh, you know uh, uh, nonlinear regression models are special in a uh, special character uh, or you know special kind of you know models, but uh, this is uh, you know very special in fact for that you know you must uh, you know theoretically understand that the interactive uh, the uh, you know interactive effect is a you know additional variable which can be actually logically created and theoretically justified. Then after that you can add these variables and check the kind of you know not necessarily uh, every time you can include even theoretically you know uh, sound or logically supported still you see whether there is a significant contributions. Uh, if so, then you can incorporate otherwise you can just check and you know uh, uh, remove. Then finally, we need actually the estimated model which is actually absolutely ok for the decision making process. So, now for that we can go to again excel sheet and in this case. So, we can go to the data sheet first then here the data sheet and uh, before that actually. So, what I can do I will just uh, connect with this you know uh, model. So, what we can do? Uh, so, let us take an examples ok. So, x 1 x 2 and the interactive effect for that actually uh, we take actually x 1 equal to male and uh, x 2 equal to uh, merit and uh, against we put another variable x 3 divorce. So, that means 3 independent variables here and then uh, we like to see the interactive effect because this model which we have already discussed in the previous you know lectures uh, uh, the some you know sample models to describe the interactive effect in the same models I am just using to you know connect with you know uh, software outputs how it works and uh, ultimately what kind of you know results you will get and how you can interpret that is more important here. And uh, <coughs> we have here three variables this is in fact x 1 this is x 2 and this is x 3 this is x 1 versus x 2 and this is x 1 versus uh, x uh, x 3 ok uh, x 3. So, male married and divorce then male married and male divorce. So, that is the kind of you know. So, every time the target is actually gender and that to specific target on male sides. So, by default the first variable will be the gender. So, the information in that particular variable will be in the form of 0 1 and again uh, married the answer will be simply yes and no and that will again transfer into 0 1 and again the third variable is a divorce. So, that will be again yes no and uh, the final input will be again 0 1 and then uh, we uh, you know we have uh, now three variables all together male married divorce all are you know dummy type, but for interactive effect not necessarily variable should be interactive or you know uh, dummy type. And, uh, uh, it may dummy type, it may not dummy type, but in this specific examples, it is it is the mandatory that we should have you know dummy type because the for the for the type of variables is like that only. And then uh, simply what we can do, male merits that is the interactive effect, one interactive effect, then male divorce that is the another interactive effect. So we like to check how male impact on salary, in, you know, college, uh, you know, salary, average salary then merits impact on this uh, average salary then what is the divorce impact on you know uh, salary then again the kind of you know, interactive effect. For that <coughs> we have actually created here uh, the kind of you know examples uh, and uh, for that. So, this is what the kind of you know understanding the detailed description about this model and then let us see we will work out here so how it can be operated uh, in real life situation see here. Uh, we have three te technical variables uh, you know x 1 then x 2 and x 3 and then what we will do we will create an interactive effect male and you know merit. So, that just you put you know equal to signs and this is what actually male and uh, you know females that is transformation is 0 1 just you multiply and have this particular variable. So, that means this is the integration between this and this. So, you just you know put ok 
So, then you just you know generate this series. So, this will be the in first interactive effect. So, the data set will be created and then second uh, second variables inference will be like this. Uh, you know this is uh, this is what actually uh, ok. So, uh, this is what actually uh, mail merit ok and then in this case we will put here mail divorce right mail divorce this is what mail divorce ok. So, that means this is another variable which we will create. So, equal to that means this and and the and the kind of you know uh, this. So, this is will be this will be created again. So, now we can generate this series. So, now the data set is ready. Yes, yes, I am doing this because the data analysis in you know, Excel software is you know directly cannot take. So, you can actually manually process it then allow the software to run the model. So, now what is happening here? We have actually here the dependent variable, then first independent variable, second independent variable, third independent variable and the first interactive effect and the second interactive effect what uh, the, the the structure of the model is here and uh, uh, then we use this you know models and then go for the estimation process. So, ultimately you can go to the data analysis package again and uh, 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 you know highlight the regression then you can actually uh, reset because earlier set was the you know kind of you know. Uh, the structure about the uh, dummy representation. So, here so the same dependent variables. So, the dependent variable will be like this ok and uh, then the kind of you know, independent variables. So, what will you do? So, we will take all the independent variables simultaneously for this dependent variables. It includes both you know independent variables and the kind of you know interactive effects. So, here two independent three independent variables and two interactive effect and now here is the output. So, this is what the output. So, now uh, yes of course, this there is a little bit improvement corresponding to the previous you know model outcome and uh, of course, it is not so good because f is not coming statistically significant and r is technically very low and again adjusted r square is also very low. So, what is happening here? So, what is more important here? the coefficients the coefficients and here uh, this is the intercept and this is the first independent variable estimate second variable independent variable estimate and third uh, third you know independent variable estimate then first interactive effect and second interactive effect so that means see the ultimate uh, after getting this you know estimated output you can again come back to the kind of you know, uh, uh, you know discussion so here so just you know uh, put this coefficient in place of you know uh, beta h because we have all these beta results including alpha and then uh, what is the you know difference here. So, every time it should be 0 1 kind of you know structure. So, that means you know when you put actually 0 then ultimately it will go to the a uh, female structure. So, when it is actually male it will be 1. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, ultimately so, the, uh, uh, the effect will be here alpha plus beta 1 or you know uh, simply alpha. Then uh, uh, if you know it is a yes no. So, again so if the guy is married then it is 1 uh, not then it will be 0. So, then again so every time you can actually uh, put uh, you know allow 0 and allow 1. So, then you will find you know big difference. Then finally, you, you can have the outcomes and then uh, check the interactive effect whether it is a statistically significant or not. Of course, uh, the theoretically this model is ok, it uh, you know there is a possibility of you know adding interactive effect. Ultimately, the you know best requirement or the effectiveness of model depends upon the uh, you know uh, statistical reliability or econometric reliability. That means, technically it will pass through all the reliability test and the diagnostic test then after that you can uh, interpret how is the individual variables impart and how is the interactive effects impart. So, it is like you know more or less same like you know as usual uh, multiple regression. So, after you know creating interactive effect which is logically sound theoretically ok then there is no issue to go ahead with the estimation process get the estimated output interpret the model and go for the decision making you know uh, 
things as per the particular you know engineering requirement. So, this is a special type of you know models then uh, then uh, after that we have a various types of you know other nonlinear models starting with you know quadratic form. So, here uh, uh, the, the kind of you know structure is same y is the dependent variables and x is a kind of you know independent variables. Uh, and x2 is a kind of you know independent variables and uh, we are allowing x1 in a kind of you know uh, nonlinear format so that means technically so uh, we we have here we have here actually y x1 and x2 and then we will create a x1 square it's a, it's a not actually big deal so we have a dependent variables and we have x1 and we have x2 like we have created an interactive effect uh, you know for instance male uh, you know male married and male divorce. Uh, so, here also you can create you know uh, x 1 square that is again kind of an interactive effect. So, there x 1 x 2 or x 1 x 3 it is a kind of you know cross product interaction. So, x 1 square is a kind of you know dot product interaction. So, you can multiply uh, variable uh, with x 1 with x 1 and x 2 uh, with x 2. Of, of course, creating this kind of you know variables by the help of you know dot product, it should be again theoretical sound and logically supported. So, then after that you can have the generate uh, you know data generating process and then you had go with the a kind of you know uh, you know esti uh, you know estimations and can have the estimated results. For instance, again again you, you can go to this you know uh, uh, the kind of you know uh, excel sheet. So, let us say this is actually a, a you know kind of you know what you can call it as original data sets. Let us say uh, this is actually y and we will create a, a you know let us say another kind of you know x uh, you know 1 squares let us say this is the kind of you know thing. So, what will you do provided this is x 1 and uh, so what will you do? So, you just you know put square uh, equal to here and this again uh, multiplied by this ok uh, multiplied by this and then you created this particular variable. In fact, this is a, a dummy a kind of a representation it will not change at all it will change at all, but it can be created like this ok. After, crea after this variable creation, so what you can do again you go to the data analysis package and then put the uh, uh, ask the you know kind of you know, uh, regression requirement. So, reset again and here uh, the requirement is actually dependent variables. So, first you go to the dependent variable structures. So, this is what the dependent variable structure and here in the case independent variables. So, you can actually uh, allow uh, you know gender ok and then this ones and again again uh, and the interactive effect. Okay, so then you put okay. So this will be, this will come like this. So that means the process is more or less actually same. So you will have a kind of an you know, output, and after getting this output, again come to this you know interpretation. So that means you create x one square is a third inter, you know interactive type of you know variables. Then again you run the models. So you will get uh, you will get a kind of you know estimated outcome and then check whether the estimated outcome is statistically significant or not. For instance, uh, you know here we have two different kind of you know structure in one case we have y equal to beta 0, beta 1 x 1 and beta 2 x 2 and then again in between we are allowing uh, you know beta uh, 3 x 2 in x 1 squares and then check whether you know the particular you know uh, 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 interactive effect will be statistically significant or not. If that is the case you can go ahead and then you you see you know uh, how best we can you know interpret the kind of you know requirement then in the in the same times in the same times you can have another form of the models like here and uh, this is a, a exponential type you know models or sometimes in business or you know management so we call as you know cd type you know uh, of production function cost cup douglas production function so here uh, the forms of the connection are completely nonlinear. So, what we can do the entire models can be transferred into linear format. For instance, you know uh, the first mo in the original model in fact is like this. 
So, this is what the original model. So, what we can do here? We will go for you know transformation. So, that is actually the you know best way to you know bring into the linear format. Then after that we can go ahead with the OLS mechanism and uh, uh, we can estimate the process and have the estimated output and after that the interpretation process will be more or less same. So, in this case uh, we have y beta 0 then x 1 to the power beta 1 x to the power beta 2. So, that is here. Okay. So, what will you do here? So, we can apply log transformation both the sides and mathematically it is allowed and that is the best way to simplify the structure and go ahead as usual you know simple OLS mechanism. So, now uh, so we have actually originally we have y x 1 and x 2. So, now uh, the transformation process will be a, a ln y ln x 1s and ln x 2. Okay. So, this is how the three variables can be created. So, this is the original and this is the transport data. Now, once you have a transport data, so the log y can be treated as you know y, then it will be simply alpha, then uh, let us say alpha 0, then this will be say alpha 1, uh, alpha 1 uh, say a you know small x 1s, then plus alpha 2 small x 2, uh, small x 2 and then the error terms. So, now the same models can be represented in this form, where y is nothing but log y then alpha 0 is nothing but in log of beta 0 and alpha 1 is nothing but actually beta 1 and uh, x 1 is nothing but log x 1 and alpha 2 is beta 2 and uh, then log x 2 is nothing but you know small x 2 and then log uh, epsilon will be the error terms. So, this is how the final transformation and then in order to simplify the structure. So, what we can do it is actually a model transformation is required. So, again you go to the excel uh, you know uh, excel spreadsheet and this is how the original data set. So, what will you do? So, we will have here or transformation for instance uh, you can uh, go ahead with you know log transformation. So, just you put ok and allow here actually a, a log transformations ok. Uh, uh, all right. So, uh, Yes, this is what the uh, log transformations, and then you can just indicate the particular variable and put OK. So, this will be created here. So, uh, this once you uh, transfer, then you can generate this series. This is actually say uh, log of y, ok, and similarly, we can go for you know this variable transformation. So, that means the entire variables original setup is like this and this is the transport system. Of course, these independent variables are dummy and it is in the form of 0 1 which cannot be transported here. So, for that the sample structure will be changed, but y, y is actually numeric. So, that can be go for you know log transformation. Again, so uh, with this you know samples you know uh, data set it is very much clear that you know uh, in this form of you know learned regression models the first and transformation should not be actually 0 1 type that means dummy type. So, it should be absolutely numeric. So, that you can go ahead with the transformation proper transformation and then you can you know use this transport output for the estimations and then we can go for the decision making process. Uh, if that is not the uh, you know case then you cannot use this form of you know model to you know uh, go ahead with the estimation process and as per the kind of you know engineering requirement. So, this is another form of nonlinear regression models and <coughs> same way. So, this is a, a square root transformation same thing instead of you know log y. So, we have here uh, originally we have actually y x 1 and x 2. So, now same y will be remain there. So, instead of x 1 you can go for x 1 uh, square root of x 1 transformation and square root of x 2 transformation. So, uh, uh, usually the idea is you know reduce the volatility and put in a kind of you know structured form and against you re-estimate the process then the process of re-estimations with the transport output will be more or less like the original structure and then uh, you can you know interpret of course, the kind of you know, elasticity of these outputs will be different but more or less the processing uh, through software is uh, you know very much similar. 
So, it is not actually big difference just you need actually data transformation and if your model is behaving like this and for that you can actually go for you know data visualizations like here we have actually a, a gone checked actually then we can transport the you know model like that and uh, then we can apply the transport output for the model estimations and the two as per your requirement this is what the transport output and uh, again there is another form of you know uh, models you know nonlinear regression model that is exponential types of you know again so this this is the originally it is in nonlinear so you can apply log so log of y equal to beta 0 beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 so that means here this in, in this case only log y can be transport means y can be transport to log y then x 1 x 2 uh, as usual remains same so that means compared to previous one uh, so, one way you can first find out you know uh, y and log x 1 and log two x 2. So, like this case and then you can actually keep y remain constant and uh, x 1 will be changed to root x 1 say, and x 2 can be changed into root x 2 and then go ahead with the estimations and in the third case uh, uh, y can be log y and that is the only transformation you do and the remaining beta 0 beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 so that means x 1 and x 2 is the original kind of you know, requirement then go ahead with the estimation process. So, the estimation process altogether actually same and ultimately you have to just check various forms and the same problems can be processed through various other forms that is one kind of you know, robustness check and by default you will find various alternatives same variable same you know problems and just we are changing the various you know modeling forms various in with respect to various functional forms and structural form then you check uh, uh, you know with estimations and the model which is really good and best as per the reliability is concerned diagnostic uh, diagnostics are concerned then that model will be finally kept for the decision making process and as per the particular you know engineering problems requirement. So, uh, with this we will stop here and uh, thank you very much have a nice day.